Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, wrong dog. Ah, much better. Good boy. Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashishnet here and today we're taking a look at Transformers Studio Series, Transformers the Movie 1986, Steel Jaw, he is a core class figure so he is super tiny and uh, I figure the big brain move here is to compare him with another figure that's similar in size and uh, here we are, so you know. Uh, so what comes in the box? Well, the faux background here, which I don't think it's been used in anything else before, if you can see it. That would have been a cool background to have on one of the larger figures. But no, they give us one that we can't use. Anyway, it also comes with the instructions. Don't hurt yourself papers. So remember, don't hurt yourself. And then we'll move these guys out of the way here. Uh, take a look at the box. Um, of course, Steel Jaw on the cover here and here on the side. And then here is him and both his cassette and his... Uh, beast mode and then of course yeah he can mount the uh the speaker on him coincidentally i ordered two of these so this is one of the two uh because i intend to have both of these speakers for blaster but uh you can substitute the speakers on and off and uh you can look like this uh these two parts do come separately so once you stick it together it's stuck together forever just so keep uh, in mind of that it's in like wrapped this and this is wrapped in that paper inside of there so it's just something to keep in mind of okay so let me put the back back on so yes a little bit of parts forming here to get this look and uh there we go um guns are all attached to him so there's nothing to put on only the wing part comes off mouth does not close he's pretty nifty uh <laughs> this is a bad place for that uh piece but yeah uh Guns do move, but the leg has a habit of moving with them. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, the head is split. So, keep that in mind. And the where um, the spools for the tape form, when it's in tape form, it's uh, it's weird. And, and it comes in tape form. I just thought this would be a cooler look for him. So, conversion. Uh, parts form away. Uh, so, essentially, you're going to uh, separate the head. Now, of course, obviously you want to do this in reverse. Uh, um, I'm going to actually bend this like this. And you can see the head is separated. And fold these in. And then, um, in first front legs first. If you get them all the way up. Then the back legs. Yeah, mine are super tight, by the way. There we go. There we go. And it looks like this. Yeah, buffed over parts. But uh, here's what he looks like in tape mode. And the spools here look fine. It's just the spools here that look all. And, uh, of course, we get Blaster. And will he fit? Yes, he will. And he ejects. So how does he compare with the other tapes? Well, I got Ejector Rewind right here. And uh, size-wise, yeah, because obviously he fits in Blaster's body, so of course he fits. So um, my only problem with him is that this is loose. The legs are as tight as can possibly be, but the headpiece is just super loose. I'm not quite sure how one would store it other than inside Blaster or, you know, have him posed up... Uh, you know, somewhere, but I mean, it looks like a little ship when he's like this. Uh, uh, and then what to do with this thing. So let's move these guys out of the way. And um, I kind of wish there was ports on Blaster uh, so you could mount this. Uh, but uh, he can hold it, supposedly. Or maybe not. Hold on. Can he hold it on the side here? Yeah, there you go. So we can do that. Yeah, I ordered, as I said, I ordered two of these because I wanted to have two speakers. So when he's in tape deck mode or something. But that's, that's something I'll have to research, I guess. But uh, any 5mm port, except his hand, apparently. Because the, the peg is not very long. Uh, you can stick it pretty much anywhere you want. So, just a quick look at this. It's very basic. 
it's a lot of hollow. I wonder what this is. Maybe it's just the way they're holding it together. It's like if I read the instructions, I know because this, this is a very unique shape here, and uh, maybe it has something to do with the cassette mode. Okay, so here's blaster and cassette mode, and we will of course stick steel jaw back in, and uh, I guess this technically is the correct way. To cooperate. There we go. Will it eject? No, maybe I'm just, it's not compacted enough. Oh, there it goes. Or not. Eh, whatever. So this thing, uh, I guess technically, if you have two, you can do this. So, I mean, take with that what you will. Uh, hold on, do I have this upside down maybe? Let's see. Doesn't seem to be any difference. I think a lot of the problem is that the side here keeps wanting to bend in. It's just so much easier to do it the other way. There, see? Yeah, going backwards the wrong way, it works fine. But doing it the front way, not so much. And I kind of don't want to force it, obviously, so you can get it in there, it's just not going to eject. Yeah, but that's uh, pretty much it for Steel Jaw. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.